When was the last time you challenged yourself to try something new? My name is Cody Buffington. I'm an adventure-seeking world traveler. And I just came back from a 30-day road trip in Norway where I tried glacier climbing for the first time. This activity sparked a curiosity into what other types of climbing I could do now that I'm home. So when Backcountry wanted to sponsor today's video, I knew exactly what adventure I wanted to tackle. But since I don't know anything about rock climbing, I called up one of Backcountry's gearheads for some equipment advice. Hey, this is Nick at Backcountry.com. I can help you out today. Hi there, Nick. Uh, my name is Cody Buffington, and I am trying to get some gear to go uh, rock climbing. All right. We can start with looking at Black Diamond. Black Diamond harness. Harness and shoe are both super nice entry level. A good price point for just getting into it. Really comfortable shoes, really comfortable harness. Super practical. These gearheads are outdoor experts whose job it is to provide you with highly knowledgeable recommendations on what gear is right for your adventure across the multitude of brands that Backcountry carries. So even though it was my first time, I felt confident in my purchases. Into the wild again, tell me when does it end? Hide under the shadow, the shadow of the morning. Into the break of dawn, we are gonna catch me on. Covered by the daylight, it's alright. So we have come out to Maine now. We've driven all the way up from Connecticut and we're gonna do rock climbing today. You can see this gear I have on. I've got my, my harness, my helmet, my bag, and my chalk ball here. And uh, we're here with Andrew and he's actually gonna be teaching me today how to do all this because I've only done some ice climbing before and that was pretty simple. You just put the spikes on your shoes and start going. Today it's a little more technical, so we're gonna learn with Andrew. Nice. Um, so first we're gonna build an anchor. Okay. Um, so that we can use the ropes to catch us. Um, so we got cams and nuts. Uh, okay. Cams come in all different sizes. So we got really big cams, really small cams, cams that are even smaller than this. And what do those do? Um, so they just go in the rock, so you squeeze them, they stick in there, and then they expand. So when you're pulling them out, it wants to expand more, and oh. then uh, as you're pulling it out, the rock stops it from expanding and it makes a lot of force on the rock and that's what holds them in there. Oh, so that's how you anchor different things. Yeah, different exactly. Rocks. Got it. Um, okay. So we're going to try and use three of them today, at least to build an anchor. One kilonewton is 224 pounds. So even this little nut, you that, could, th that thing could hold me. Exactly. You could hang your mother and her car off of this thing <laughs> and it would Jeez. still hold her. We're good. Yeah. We're good. I'm only about 200 pounds, so I think we should be good. Through and it should look like that. Look like an eight. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, so that's the figure eight, and now we're gonna put it in our harness and follow it through. That's why they call it the figure eight follow through. It's like doubling everything, it looks like. Yeah, exactly. I'm spying training. There it is. <laughs> Mission Impossible theme. Nice, you get the style for it. Dun, 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 dun. Andrew had set a series of challenges for me today with increasingly harder climbs to test out what I could do, and it was time to find out. I felt the ocean crashing behind uh -huh. me as I rappelled down, unhooked my second line, and looked up at my first ascent. I was now alone and had to face this rock wall on my own. I struggled to get up at first. Since it isn't a gym wall, but a natural rock formation, I actually had to find my own handholds. In these circumstances, all you have to rely on is you and your equipment. Fortunately, my rock climbing shoes and chalk helped me grip the even more difficult holds while my harness kept me feeling secure, which is pretty important when dangling over the Atlantic Ocean. I'm not gonna lie, the first climb was pretty challenging for me, but overcoming new obstacles inspires confidence, and for me, those are the greatest moments. Because once you make it that first time, you're hooked. And after climbing a few different routes, Andrew was increasing the difficulty to keep challenging me. The next wall had multiple large gaps where I had to learn to let out the perfect amount of rope through the harness, or else I'd smash into the wall. This is just something you have to learn in the moment. Other than some scraped fingers and legs, I managed to make it down in pretty good shape. 
There we go. And as I started to climb back up, I noticed a wall of damp fog moving in, threatening to make the climbing conditions even more challenging. So I knew I had to make it up in good time. So sore. This is insane. <laughs> oh my god. My arms are numb. Actually, they're just like shaking. Nice. Not too bad. <laughs> wow. Can't believe we did that one. I'm currently on a lunch break because my arms are a little jello. You can't see it really, but like they're shaking. Like it, and they feel like jello. So I'm taking a quick lunch break as the fog has rolled in here. It was a bright sunny day two, a couple seconds ago. Now the fog is rolling in. But look at the next one that we're about to do. This is, this is called the chimney. And it goes straight down. And it's like, we are gonna be, we're gonna be, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but if you ever see like the spy movies where they're like this, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna be like climbing up like that. I think that's what it's gonna be. Be on the lookout for some stupid looking uh, poses by me. Crazy. At this point, I wasn't sure if I could do another round, but this was the climb that I had been waiting for. So after taking a lunch break and listening to some music to pump me up on my Bluetooth speaker, I decided to rappel down for one last adventure. When the world is on your shoulders and you feel like falling over, just I'm literally in between this giant crack right now. The water, the ocean's right there. This is. This is some next level stuff. The fog was getting worse and the rocks were starting to get slick, but nothing could stop me from finishing the last and most difficult climb. But we're gonna finish this off strong. And this last climb topped off an incredible day, accomplishing a new challenge for me. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep. The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? I want to give a huge thanks to Backcountry for making this possible, particularly Nick, the gearhead, for helping me select exactly what I would need for my adventure. If you want to try a new adventure for yourself, let Backcountry help you plan it by checking out the link in the description and using the discount code for a sick discount off your first purchase. And if you guys do, make sure to use the hashtag GOATWORTHY on social media so that I know and I have to say guys, it's been a couple days since I went rock climbing and my arms are still like super sore. My forearms, I've never worked my forearms that hard before. So I have a lot of respect for rock climbers. Uh, but that is it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time Rogue Nation, explore the world. Just hit my head right here on this wall. <laughs> this is why I have a helmet. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like a sack of jello.